Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to draw text within Game Maker using the Game Maker language. I feel like I tried saying that with an accent or something, but it didn't work. I don't really know. But, let's just jump right in. So I have created a room ahead of time. And all we're going to do is we're going to create an object. And let's call this OBJ text. Why not? Let's, let's be creative with it. OBJ text. And the draw underscore text is a function that you will use within the draw uh, draw event I might brain just stop there for a second so to add a draw event we're going to hit add event and we're going to select draw and then draw again and now we have a draw event so to add some code you're going to go over to control and down f or over to the sidebar here and go down to control and drag in some code and the draw underscore text is actually a very, very, very easy piece of code. It's only got three parameters and it can be quite short. So we're going to do draw underscore text and then we're going to add our brackets. And within the brackets, we need three things. We need an X, a Y, and then the string, which is whatever word we're going to be using. Word or, um, uh, my brain just, come on, uh, word or variable, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So for the X, we're just going to hit X, and for the Y, we're just going to put Y. And all that's going to do is it's going to draw the text wherever we place this in the room. And then we're just going to write, this is some text. And now we have the draw underscore text you know, function. And that is, that's it. That's the whole function right there. So let's go to obj text and let's stick it in the room and let's watch the magic if I hit play here you're going to see that I will say this is some text now the fonts a bit funny it's not the nicest font it's a bit uneven so there's a very 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 easy way to fix that all you have to do is go over to the left hand side here and where you see fonts you're just going to right click hit create font and I'm gonna name this FNT underscore Arial because I'm just gonna stick with this basic Arial font. So, you know, you can select your font from the list here. I'm just gonna stick with the basic Arial. And I'm gonna hit OK. Now, you can hit play, and it's, it's still gonna look the same. It's not gonna change, because we haven't actually set this text to draw using that font. And to do that, it's extremely easy. All we're going to do is go into the draw event, and we're gonna double click on the code and open it. And right before the draw underscore text, we're going to add a line of code that says draw underscore set font, and then add some brackets. And within the brackets, we just have to set whatever the font is. So in this case, mine is FNT underscore Arial. So now what we've set is we've made it so that it's always going to draw with the font, font Arial for any code underneath this. Now, you might want to switch between fonts. So to do that, all you would do is you know you want to draw this is some text with Arial but then you want to draw this is not text with impact all you have to do is add another draw set font font underscore impact and now anything below this will be drawn with impact but this will still be with Arial it's kinda of like sticking brackets you know this and this is going to be drawn using that that font same goes with the impact this and this anything in there I'm getting a bit off topic though so let's take out this line of code because it's just gonna give us an error because we have no font impact and let's hit the check mark and let's hit play and let's test this out and you will notice that our text is now written in that font so we can change this font to let's change it to something crazy hobo STD why not standard I mean and now it's gonna draw on that so guys that is how you draw text using game maker I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know if you have any suggestions please let me know I really want to gear these tutorials towards making sure that they're understandable and they're really easy to use I want them to kind of be a reference guide so that being said guys I will see you in the next video